land of Africa, where the land meets the sea, lives a small family of three. Early one summer's morning, Jemina and her grandfather want to collect fresh, sweet honey. Walking slowly through the small, sleeping village, Jemina gazed at the bright morning sky. She tracked a wild rhino deep into the parched, dry forest. She stalked a dangerous pride of lions. However, she did not get caught. I want to see large grey elephants. Do you think we will, Grandfather? You will be lucky. We don't get that many since the poachers came. Poachers? Jemina's eyes lit up like a bright diamond in the sun. I'm going to be a poacher. A few moments later, she turned around, but her grandfather was nowhere to be seen. She called out desperately, but there was silence. On the faraway wind, a sad, desperate cry tugged at her heart. What could it be? She held her breath and listened very carefully. Jemina looked up towards the bright blue sky. Bolted hung high in the heavy noon heat. Jemina sensed danger all around her. Jemina knew she should never go into the wild, threatening bush, but the sad, mournful sound called her in. Walking slowly through the hot, dry grass, Jemina came upon a sad sight. It was a baby elephant trying to wake its dead mother. Don't cry, little one. Maybe we will hear the herd nearby. But all they could hear was the rasping of insects. Jemina knew the lonely baby elephant would not survive all alone. The baby was frightened and would not move. I am not a poacher. For a long time she spoke to the elephant until he grew calm. Jemina stood up and the baby followed, tottering weakly in the blazing heat. A few moments later, the sky turned black and it started to rain. The rain cooled them. Many hours later, the sun soon dipped low in the sky. Just a little further, little one. All at once they saw a dark menacing silhouette. Oh no, poachers, little one, be still. Jemina hushed the elephant until the danger passed. Darkness fell like two giant curtains being pulled. Shimmering stars were the only sign of light. Clinging to each other tightly, they huddled together as terrifying and unfamiliar night sounds filled the dark, looming night sky. Jemina closed her eyes and hoped her family would find her. Instead, she dreamt about the great elephant from long ago. When she opened her eyes, to her amazement, they were real elephants. Take this little one and keep him safe. The mist hung low and deep as the sun rose. My darling daughter, you are alive. It's time to go home. I am so sorry, Mum. I was playing poachers and I got lost and separated from Grandfather. You are safe now, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling.